Ladies and gentlemen, it's starting to get interesting. Washington Post. Top Republicans suggest changing Senate rules to begin Trump impeachment trial within days. Reuters. Senate Republican eyes rule change to kickstart Trump impeachment trial. The Hill. Lindsey Graham moles rules change to start impeachment trial without articles. This is January 5th, today, 2020. Senator Lindsey Graham said on Sunday that he is mulling rule changes in an effort to quickly start the Senate impeachment trial of President Trump without the articles that Nancy Pelosi is withholding from the upper chamber. Graham told Fox News Sunday Morning Futures that he would work with Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell to change the chamber's rules if the articles are not sent this week. Wow. Wow. Quote, what I would do if she continues to refuse to send the articles as required by the Constitution, I would work with Senator McConnell to change the rules of the Senate to start the trial without her if necessary. Wow, this is great. The South Carolina senator accused Pelosi of a political stunt meant to extort a trial to her liking. Quote, if we don't get the articles this week, then we need to take matters in our own hands and change the rules, deem them to be delivered to the Senate so we can start the trial, invite the House over to participate if they would like. Yes. If they don't come, dismiss the case and get on with governing the country. Exactly. Graham's, Graham added that he hopes the Senate trial would be, will, will be over by the end of January. And if the American people want a different president, they can decide that in November. <laughs> they should do this. This is fantastic. And... Mitch McConnell has stated, look, we're not, we're, we're not going to have a trial without the Articles of Impeachment. That's very likely more to just pressure Pelosi. They have stated, they have, made, they have tried to make the case in the House that Trump committed crimes. They obviously have not made that case because there's no direct evidence he committed any crimes. So they, they, there's no direct evidence that he's committed any crimes, 538, the Associated Press. There have been articles. Two of those articles are below in the description section of every one of these segments. Stating, acknowledging, admitting that there is no direct evidence leading, uh, direct evidence linking Trump to a specific order or command or admission that he is worried about Biden. Therefore, he was trying to pressure Zelensky and withhold military assistance because he wanted to investigate Biden and interfere in the 2020 election. This is a neurosis of Democrats. They have, they, the fact they lost in 2016 means that anything they do or any questions regarding misconduct or conflicts of interest are, God forbid, you investigate any Democrat. That's interference. That's interference. If you buy a, if you purchase a dossier, if you actually go outside of the United States and purchase a, dots, a dossier, which is a compilation of nonsense, and you work with Christopher Steele, who is a foreign national, and you get information from Alexander Downer, the Australian ambassador, who is a foreign national, and you get information from Joseph Mifsud, a Maltese professor, who is a foreign national. And what? You use the information from intelligence services of other countries. And you send FBI agents to London. And then you, um, you use other examples of help outside of the United States government. If you do so because it's under the umbrella of an official government investigation into Trump, no problem. No problem at all. Because President Obama has had nothing to do with it. He was completely removed from Comey's decisions. Just like President Obama was completely removed from his, his uh, Secretary of State owning top, owning top secret intelligence on servers running on Microsoft Exchange software for four years. Completely autonomous private servers. President Obama was completely removed from that, completely removed from the Steele dossier, completely removed from 17 examples of deceiving FISA judges that Kevin Kleinsmith and other 
FBI agents were engaged in. But if it's, if it's the White House looking into potential misconduct by Biden, impeachment, okay, they impeach based on, based on that, because correlation equals causation with Trump. But if it's um, money flowing into the Clinton Foundation from UBS, Boeing, from 85 donors giving $156 million from a Kremlin-backed, eventually Kremlin-backed Uranium One, from countries wanting to obtain weapons deals, then eventually they get exponentially greater weapons deals than the Bush administration. From endless examples, I mean, the, the book Clinton Cash by Peter Schweitzer is about correlation equal, equaling causation. All you heard, all you heard under President Obama and when Clinton was running, correlation need not imply causation. So what? So money flowed into the Clinton Foundation and beneficial treatment took place. Okay, yeah, and then she used private servers just so her communication would be withheld from FOIA requests. And guess what? She deleted 33,000 emails, and she decided what was classified, and she decided what to give the State Department, and also she decided what to uh, give the FBI in terms of servers completely wiped clean. And there's no suspicion there. Correlation does not equal causation. You have a shady... Um, a government official known, known for secrecy, known for breaking rules and laws, who uses servers outside of the United States government for four years, deletes half of her communication, and it has absolutely nothing to do with her pay-to-play schemes in the Clinton Foundation. Nothing, because correlation need not equal causation. But if it's Trump with a phone call... Oh, my God. You know, because Biden is his direct political rival, even though President Zelensky stated there was no quid pro quo. President Zelensky stated there was no quid pro quo. There was no leverage. There was no pressure. President Poroshenko also stated this is not just Zelensky. His predecessor also dealt with President Trump. No leverage. Yet they impeach based on not the opinion because, you know, the, the impeachment witnesses, they're not lying. They're not biased. They don't have their own self-interest. Even though none of them have direct knowledge or direct evidence. It's actually the leader of the Ukraine, Zelensky, who spoke with Trump. He's not telling the truth, don't you know? Because he said there was no leverage. Well, of course he has to say that. Well, what about Poroshenko? Oh, he has to say that too. Are you kidding me? Democrats have impeached President Trump. They've impeached the president based on their their version of correlate of correlations equaling causation. Even though the leaders of the Ukraine said to have been leveraged and and bullied and pressured have denied that categorically numerous times, both of them. The current leader, uh, Zelensky, and his predecessor, Poroshenko. And then you have, oh, I don't know, Marie Ivanovich admitting to Congresswoman Elise Stefanik during the impeachment nonsense farce charade that President Obama's own administration President Obama's own administration gave talking points to the ambassador while she was being confirmed regarding Hunter Biden's immense conflicts of interest and how to answer how to answer if Republicans brought up those conflicts of interest. Now you have every decision Trump makes is the 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 Washington uh sorry the yeah the Washington oh the New York Times is like you know Pentagon officials were stunned oh everyone's stunned they get shocked they can't believe Trump actually makes a foreign policy a policy decision that President Obama had made all the time without even acknowledgement by the press by the way 
barely acknowledgement by the press. Any any uh, scandal, any flawed decision was barely covered in the Washington Post and New York Times. Covered, certainly not condemned. The, okay, the Washington Post and the New York Times are extensions of the Democratic Party. It's obviously, CNN and MSNBC are. Because they, because one, pub, one media entity exists, Fox News, and so they still can't, they still can't, their message can't, doesn't resonate. And so they have to, they have to complain that Fox News exists, and Trump, and, they, and, and half of Fox News doesn't even support Trump like it should, or at least a third or whatever. Then you get this gleeful, like, well, we can go on forever. I thought it was bringing home Americans. That's the point. We shouldn't even be there. We shouldn't even be there. So, I mean, Democrats can complain about Trump's decisions all they want. His whole thing is withdrawing Americans from those regions. Then they say, well, no, you can't withdraw. It's, it has to be an orderly withdrawal. Then they say, how dare you uh, conduct a, an operation there? I, I, dis I don't think what he did... I, okay, I disagree with President Trump on this tactic because the guy that was droned is going to be replaced immediately already replaced so I mean, what have you done what have you done then the 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 rationale was well this person was a conduct he was he was planning future operations against uh the u.s well you don't think the guy who's replacing him will will god forbid do the same thing i mean you we need to completely withdraw from it's been 20 years if the if the argument we're only, we're only there because of Max Boot, Bill Crystal, Hillary Clinton, and Biden and Bush and Cheney and Rumsfeld, that's not even two sides of the same coin. It's actually the same side of one coin. So, the notion that we have to stay there forever, I mean, you you're going to spend billions and trillions. Just give them the money that they need. I'm talking any country. That we say that, that people claim we have to be in, and remove American presence from these from these countries. And that's the only. If, if after twenty years American presence can't uh, end certain conflicts, we'll never be able to end those conflicts. And this is not Germany and Japan. The rebuttal, a very interesting rebuttal from like. Liberals and Democrats are like, well, you want to remove uh, troops from Germany and Japan? Like, well, <laughs> what correlations do you see between do you see between the areas where our soldiers are at now with counterinsurgency conflicts, with people storming embassies, and people losing their lives, and Germany and Japan? Uh, you know, after World War II, so it's like there's no correlation at all. But. You're seeing a president right now who is um, who is winning. Trump is winning. Their tactic, their only tactic, because the the economy is great, foreign policy is still better, infinitely better than than um, than than Bush or President Obama. And I say yes. In my last, in one of my last segments on H. A. Goodman's other channel, he is still the anti-war president and choice compared to to. Um, any Democrat, well, Clinton's going to be nominee. Clinton's going to be nominee. I don't care if she, you know, flies in on a jetpack like like Super Bowl two, like why aren't I fifty point? And then lands in a golden moo moo lands and everything. They're not going with Biden. Biden was never Trump's direct political rival. Biden is number one in polls uh, because there nobody there is electable. Bernie Sanders. President Obama literally stated that he would intervene. He would intervene if Bernie Sanders became even close, got even close to becoming nominee. So they're not like the one thing that Democrats are now is honest in their corruption and their treachery. Very honest. President Obama's like, yeah, you know, <laughs> like they cheated Bernie Sanders in 2016, and through Politico, through journalists or surrogates within media. 
Look it up. If you're still, um, uh, if you're a progressive watching this channel, God bless you. Thank you for continuing to watch. I'm, as you know, I'm voting Trump in 2020. But go look it up for yourself. President Obama stated, or is said to have stated through the media, which means that he stated, President Obama is not going to just go and say, yeah, I'm going to intervene. Through Politico and through other publications, he's like, look, if it gets too close and Bernie Sanders becomes nominee, I would work to prevent this because he's not a Democrat. Okay. In terms of influence regarding somebody that is admired, there's nobody more admired than President Obama within the Democratic Party. Clint Hillary Clinton is not admired. People gravitate towards her and she will be the nominee because she runs a political machine. After she loses this election again, she will try to run again in 2024 saying, look, you had me or, or Biden. I'm doing you a favor. That's, that's okay. I'm looking even beyond Clinton running and, and becoming nominee because she will become nominee. She's going to lose and she knows this. Her fallback is, don't get mad at me. You had Biden. Biden wanted a Republican vice president. Biden was losing money. Biden told coal miners to learn to code. Are you kidding me? And he, and he promised only to be a one-term president. Are you kidding me? Biden is stuck between a rock and a hard place. The, he can't simply tank his campaign on purpose. He has to do things so absurd that people begin to slowly question <laughs> They're so petrified of Clinton that even when he tells coal miners to learn to code, a lot of Democrats are like, oh my God, what do we do now? <sighs> Who else is there? Who else is there? Do you have anything about anybody else? Nobody else? And then suddenly, like, well, how about Hillary? She'll be the nominee, but Biden was never Trump's direct political rival. The impeachment charade serves that 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 nonsense but here mcconnell takes mcconnell changes the rules and lindsey graham and mcconnell change the rules they conduct a senate trial it's the it's the worst political defeat democrats could ever have could ever have why You'll see media, the Washington Post, the New York Times, they will complain, they'll cry, they'll stomp their feet, they'll, uh, you know, do the usual. But it ain't going to work because the, the basis for all of this is that Trump's committed crimes. Well, if he's committed crimes, there's, you don't need any more evidence. If a crime has taken place and you already impeached him, you don't need any more evidence. The notion that like, oh, well, it's a trial now. You don't have to prove anything in, in the impeachment phase. Well, then why did you impeach the guy? If you, if you did so based on not proving anything, what, what, how, does, how is that a rebuttal? They don't have any evidence because none exists, because he didn't withhold military assistance because he was worried about the election. If Biden, if he wanted to investigate Biden, it's because Biden's crooked. Case closed. And a crooked Democrat if they're investigated, so be it. Too bad for Democrats. Don't be crooked. Don't be corrupt. Don't have your son uh, work for the uh, on the board of directors of an energy co corporation where he, he gets three point four million dollars, and Ukraine is now investigating uh, investigating that corporation. So. And then DNC officials. It's a fact that they reached out to Ukrainian officials. What's not a fact? Not a fact is that the Russians hacked the DNC to inform the country that Bernie Sanders was cheated, thus causing Debbie Wasserman Schultz to resign in disgrace. And um, then Facebook ads, uh, sw uh, you know, with swing state voters voting Trump. But even though, you know, Clinton got the popular vote. So Russia was interfered so much into the election that she still got the popular vote, Clinton. That the Office of Director of National Intelligence says, and I always read that, and you know I do on this, it's, it's in the description section. The disclaimer is literally in the description section of every one of my segments. That is based on a high confidence assessment. That's not a, that's not a, that's not a, uh, 100%. 
So give me your thoughts below. This is really, really interesting. They changed the rules. There's nothing Democrats can do, and they look so horrible. Because what are they going to do? They change the rules. First of all, the Senate can change its own rules if it's the Republicans run the show, just like the House runs the show. The House impeached the president based on no direct evidence and only the the viewpoints of disgruntled diplomats. And then four university professors, one of whom wrote in, in Bloomberg, Noah Feldman, that, oh yeah, Trump isn't even impeached. He's not even impeached, don't you know? You didn't, they didn't even send the articles of impeachment. So, give me your thoughts. The Senate can do what it wants, and the president's already been, whatever, let's just say, he's already been impeached. The protocol is that Pelosi has to send the articles of impeachment. If she says, no, I'm not going to until I deem fit, well, sorry, um, you don't run the Senate. The Senate can run at its own timetable. The Senate can say, if you don't get, if we don't get the articles of impeachment by in a couple of days, we're having a trial. Too bad. You don't have to go to the trial. But if you don't go to the trial, there's no chance that Trump gets removed, which well, there's no trans chance anyway. But theoretically, there's no chance. If you do go to the trial, it'll be it'll be done the way Republicans want, and he'll be acquitted. If they decide not to go to the trial, they'll admit they have nothing and they have no evidence because the, 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 the theme here that Democrats should be pushing if they wanted to really make Trump and Republicans look bad is send the articles of impeachment, preside over a trial where Trump is acquitted instead of simply saying, oh, you're not being partial or you're imp not being fair, or, you're, not, you're not being impartial, it's all nonsense. Like Debbie Wasserman Schultz was unbiased, right? Fair and neutral, right? The Democrat Democrats are never fair and neutral, but they complain about it. You simply sh try to shame the Republicans with the vast amount of evidence that you have. My God Almighty, the vast, the the mountain, the Mount Everest of evidence that you have. Yeah, right. You simply go ahead and conduct a trial. With Republicans, if you're Democrats, you give them everything you have, which is nothing. You want impeachment witnesses? Fine, you get Bolton. Give de give the Republicans their impeachment witnesses, because they're gonna they're gonna demand that 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 Joe Biden testify. Joe Biden's gonna be, you know, fighting it. They'll have the trial without Biden testifying, <laughs> which which shows that he. He, he, he won't even testify on a trial on an impeachment that's based upon, predicated upon the belief that he's pure as the driven snow. See, Democrats believe it's so absurd that you would even think, that you would even think of investigating Biden. It had to be for nefarious motive. Well, he doesn't even want to testify at the Senate trial. Are you kidding? Because he knows he's up to his... Um, his his cornflakes in corruption. Then the, I mean they're going to ask also Hunter to testify. Oh, you know, oh my God, how dare you? No, though, that's the whole point. The whole point here is that you had a conflict of interest that even President Obama's administration knew. Then they want the intelligence operative. Then they want Shifty. So I mean, Democrats can't win here. They cannot win. And the average American, the average American doesn't care if Democrats feel that Trump is cheating them because they cheated Bernie Sanders. That's also a blind spot in American politics. And it's something that I say every single day, and I will always say it forever. They cheated Bernie Sanders. The fact that Bernie doesn't acknowledge this is even worse. That, that makes it worse. They cheated Bernie, and they impeached a president based on what they think that he did to cheat them. That's how, and that's how nefarious these people are. <clears throat> it's unbelievable. Check out H.A. Goodman's other channel. Subscribe to it if you enjoy my, my voice, my work. My Patreon is below in the description section and the pinned comment. This, this um, 
let's get H.A. Goodman's other channel to 20,000 subs. It's like now it's approaching 14,000. It's above 13,000. And this lady, this this year, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be one of the most interesting years in American political history. And I just want to thank you for your kind words and thank you for watching. And definitely subscribe, obviously, to this channel, H.A. Goodman, and also my second channel, H.A. Goodman's other channel. Thank you so much. <laughs> McConnell and Lindsey Graham are going to change the rules. And this is absolutely hilarious. Give me your thoughts. And they're going to start the trial and acquit Trump without, without Democrats there, which, by the way, will not make Democrats look good. It's not gonna, the Democrats are not going to look good by not going to the trial. They're going to look horrendous no matter what media says. Give me your thoughts. Thank you.